All right, hello, and welcome back to Bioshock Infinite. This is going to be episode eight. Last time, um, we left off after we were going through um, Fink's uh, big uh, good time club building that he wants us to go through for our apparent audition. Um, I don't trust this. He wants us to do something bad. I already know it, and it's probably going to give us a choice to do something good or something bad. Um, I can't imagine what he wants my help with, because uh, I can't imagine that he's not working with Comstock in one way or another. Um, I don't know, I feel like Comstock wouldn't let him do his thing if he wasn't doing it under uh, Comstock's guise to some extent. And I'm also wondering how Fink is uh, involved with all this uh, time stuff, because he is so time-centric. Alright, well, let's get at it. I wonder what's gonna happen. We're obviously gonna have to fight a bunch of his stupid little goons. But I wonder what's gonna happen after that. Why is this lady looking at me? I don't trust Fitzroy to honor our deal. Rich, poor, a Welsher is a Welsher. Yeah. She's exactly the Let's most. Find Lin and get the hell out of here. Now, now, all I ask is that you finish what you started to it. Wouldn't want to disappoint the other applicants. Our first candidate is a veteran of Peking. Now, what's that they say about old soldiers? <laughs> uh, not quite sure. Frankly, my money's on Ooh, you. Six iron. Here's something of an old hand that. Explosives. Only man I know who hasn't <laughs> lost the limb working with them <laughs> yet. Oh my, Elizabeth. There. Look at fire Stop. Holy shit. You need this. Thank you. Great. Also, thank you for canceling my reload animation. I didn't have to do the full reload. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so close to dying. Okay. Holy shit. Okay, reload. Hey, asshole. Fuck you. Jesus. They just want to make me kill so Your many people. Is a former devotee of Lady Whoa! That is a revelation. The gal, they don't know quite what to do with themselves. Pick this one up at a hiring fair. Oh. For a song. Talk about these guys. I thought they were talking about me. I was like, what? Old rocket launcher.
not see with the recoil when I shoot with the uh, sights down. I'm gonna rocket you, dude. I'm gonna rocket you right now. Uh oh, never mind. Alright. Jeez, okay. Oh my god! Knocked his hat off. Uh -oh. Now, enough of the opening acts. Your true rival is an expert with the automata. Wants to replace all our security with machines. Oh god. I'll give the old boy credit though. It would be fewer mouths to feed. Good God. Please reach. Here you go. Thank you. Salt. Nice. That's all I've got. Anchor's here. Come on. Out of ammo? Cooper, the gear. Here we go. Is that a flying thing? Yeah. My, my, my. Quality work. Jesus, thing to beast. I know. Just means you gotta keep looking. Stewart, you know, when your name was first passed to me, I wasn't quite sure you were the man for the job. <laughs> but now, I can say with certainty that I was job. quite wrong. I'm not interested in your job, Fink. What do people want me to do? Now, now, I know all about your little job for Fitzroy. But do you nice. really want to take her? Over mine? Do you know on, how dude. many people would kill to be head of Fix Security? Well, I'm not on that list. You're a tough nut to crack, Mr. DeWitt. A tough nut. <laughs> but uh, I promise you this I will get what I want. Yeah, whatever, Finky boy. You can make me kill as many people as you want. First, I saw this right. I already saw this right. Let's check it. Omar Foreman, 1909. <laughs> Is that the angel statue? Was it like the angel in the background? Emporia? Did I ever find that cipher book? Oh yeah, um, when I was editing, uh, it said that it was probably in the Good Time Club because all this stuff had been seized. That's what Elizabeth had said. Um, Regarding the cipher shotgun, which I still haven't really used, it could be like busted, and I would have no idea. I have 15 lockpicks. God damn. Okay. What kind of ammo do I need? I could use hand cannon. So he wants me to go through there, but I want to keep looking around. 
There's gotta be a voxophone somewhere, right? Hmm. What are you humming about this? Oh, is there a room up there? No, that's where I came from, right? Yeah. Um, I'll look around a bit more and then we can go. Any rooms over here? I don't think so. And I checked down here, so. Oh, did I check this? Maybe. I don't know. No, I did not. Okay. Yeah, I wonder when I'm gonna get those uh, other new guns. Burst gun and repeater, I think. Hmm. I'll go for salt right now. Cause I think I feel better already. Damn, I'm so close to having four full bars with this. Oh. Finkton special dried gin. God, oops. Wondering if there was anything else. Elizabeth. Be running all in front of me like that. No voxophone though. Surprising. Alright, well, let's do exactly what Fink wants us to do and walk through here. Also, <clears throat> when I was editing one of the episodes Look, where I was here. where I was using I the, the way down. Uh, where I was using the crank gun, um like I shot for like an amount of time and there were like six audible bullet sounds, like bullet sounds going on, but in total I had shot 25 bullets over the course of like the six bullet sounds. So it's like, it doesn't sound like you're shooting that much, but you're shooting a lot of bullets. There's the voxophone. I had thought you a fool, dear brother, when you told me that you heard wonderful music trumpeting from holes in the thin air. I began to doubt your mental integrity. Oh, man. But not only have you made your fortune from these two dads, you have lit the path for me as well. Huh. So you had a brother who like saw the tears and like I'm assuming he's referring to um, the vigors. Why is that empty? That's so weird. Um... <laughs> Sorry, she just always looks pissed off. Um, so I wonder if like Fink's brother made the vigors and Fink was like, well, I'm gonna like kill you or something and take over everything. That sounds kind of like what a Bioshock character might do. Not now. We're sneaking. Dear God. He can't escape. I win. Where does this go? Oh. Daisy Fitzroy, that's, um. What is that? His name Preston or something? Something like that. Um. I don't know who that is. Victim Police Department. Something, something. Picks, nice. Whole lot of carbines. Elizabeth, you don't want to like take a gun. 
The hand cannon might break your wrist, so probably not the hand cannon, but there are other options. Alright. Look! Chen Lin, cell number yeah. nine. Slate, cell six. Diego, like Diego from System Shock, Edward Diego from System Shock. <laughs> Got a lock, needs picking. She was like, pissed off long looking long at, at that lock. I used to work for folks like Fink. Really? Yeah, I was with the Pinkertons. They call us in when the workers got restless. To do what? Demonstrate the folly of men striking, throwing down tools. You hurt people. <clears throat> I'll tell you yeah. this. Sometimes there's precious need for folks like Fitzroy. Let me check my recording. Okay, it's good. All right, we're good. Why? Because of folks like me. Ready. Oh, code book. Let's go. That's it. That's the book for the clock shop. Yes. Okay. Let's go. Might have to super cut this. I might have to go like a long way to get back. I don't really remember. Oh, I might be fine. Speedrun tactics. Watch this. This is like a total speedrun tactic. People people do that when they're speedrunning this game. I don't trust Fistroid on our deal. Rich poor. A Welsher's a Welsher. Um, it was. Yeah, it was over here because it was around that corner. Like Noah's Ark, you have the lions whose purpose is to spend so long looking for that cipher book here. Then, I gotta pay attention the to the dialogue. The beasts of burden. All right, now I can't miss this one. I cannot miss this one. Come on, Elizabeth, you're fast one normally. All right, give me a second. I was doing speedrun tactics. Clock tolls at midnight. Which clock? This looks like the one. Set it to midnight. Lobby. Nice. Let's round it out with the health. Looks like there's probably nine more that I'm gonna find of those infusion things in the game. The book's not important, I guess. What is that? What does it say? Is it the quantum mechanic book? The The word of the prophet. Why is a why is this in a Vox thing? Okay. Nice. Twenty lock picks. All right, Voxophone time. Let I came go. to Columbia because I believed in God and because well, I believed in honor. Huh. But Slade has shown me this. There is no God in shutting our brothers out from the family of man, and there is no honor in defending those who are strangers to its meaning. Perhaps in Finkton there is one more deserving of my service. Huh. Well, maybe maybe that's not a Vox thing. I just figured it was a Vox thing. Oh, God. Not mean to do that. Okay, super cut me all the way back because I don't even remember where I came from. I came from over here. Speedrun tactics. Alright. 
I think next room is the room that we found the book in or something. It was this room, right? I don't know. Maybe it was this one. Maybe it was the next one. God damn, I don't fucking know. It was this one. Okay. Bird in the cage. Again. I gotta talk about my uh, theories at the end of the, the video. Because I've got quite a few and I want to talk about my different theories and how some of them interject with each other. But very interesting. There's a lot of symbolism going on in this game. Um, there is, like I said, like there's something not right happening. Not right in the sense of reality. Jeez. Oh no, Chen Lin. No, Chen Lin. Fucking bastards. Oh, what's that smell? Ain't no privies down here. I treat them like animals. Open fire! Boxophone here. Am I done fighting these fucking dudes? Tax the black more than the white. Is that not cruel? To forbid the mixing of the races. What could is people that have done to deserve to be locked up in a place like this? Fink don't need much of a reason. No. No, he doesn't. But is it not cruel to banish your children from a perfect garden? Or drown your flock under an ocean of water? Cruelty can be instructive. And what is Columbia if not the schoolhouse of the Lord? I'm gonna have to replay that one because it got kind of cut off. I don't exactly want to listen to this though. To tax the black more than the white. Is that not cruel? To forbid Damn. the mixing of the races. Is that not cruel? To give the vote to the white man. And deny it to the yellow, the black, the red. Is that not cruel? But is it not cruel to banish your children from a perfect garden? Or drown your flock under an ocean of water? Cruelty can be instructive. And what is Columbia if not the schoolhouse? He looks... You were right. Sparing him was no mercy. Gonna say anything, bud? Damn. Just unresponsive. What, they like lobotomize him? He's still got the gems on his head. I already checked in here. That one's locked. This one's locked. Let's do the five pin lock first. Yeah, I've got a lot of theories brewing about what's going on here. Eight, nine. So yeah, nine's the one that Chen Lin's in. This is help. Diego's. Let's see what Diego had. Back. All right, well. Increase clip set. Oh, yes. Whoa. Nine. Let's go. I actually want to. This is the second time I'm opening this, but I want to check out my gear. So, yeah, reload. Um, increase weapon size. Um. There we go. 100% chance. 
Uh, increase weapon damage by 50% on skylines. So I want to change this stuff. Angry stompers. This one was interesting. Uh, this is a... Oh god. Um... Maybe I'll put on Angry Stompers, and then for my last one, let's see. Hmm. I guess this one. What is any of this other stuff? Um, yada yada. Yada yada. 1899. I wonder if there are any from before page down and page up. Oh. <laughs> Forgot these keys existed. She, the thing is, if he was born in 1874, he would be 48 in 1912. Who the fuck looks like Santa Claus at 48? I don't know a single person who looks like that at 48. And that's fueling a theory that I had mentioned earlier when we were uh, learning some stuff about, um, I think, Lady Comstock. Um... And I had remarked, well, what if we're Comstock? And I was, and I was thinking along those lines because it, it would, because the thing is, he looks very, very old for forty-eight. But if he were hypothetically older, and through some sort of temporal tear was able to go back in time, as some sort of prophet who's seen everything play out, then you know he he could i mean yeah i mean that's that's the only way he can be born in 1874 and look this old 48 years later you don't look like this at 48 you look like this like 68 <laughs> i mean that's white white hair too there's another one that I wanted to bring up that, uh, there was another, um, this is also interesting. Another arc for another time. Um, even God is entitled to a do over. Um, there's another one though. It was, and I think it was another, No, not this one. Um, I 
this. Um, he talks about not being like, not being a righteous man, not a holy man. Um, and apparently the archangel was like, if if someone such as you can see the light, then everybody can, insinuating that Comstock is a pretty bad dude. And we've uh, already established that Booker is a, is a pretty bad dude as well. And there's also the stuff about, like, Wounded Knee in the Boxer Rebellion and how, like, Comstock was claiming that, like, he did all that stuff. But according to Slate, like, Booker was, like, the quote-unquote white engine of Wounded Knee or white engine of Boxer Rebellion. I can't remember which one, but, like... Slate talked about how Booker, like, did all this stuff to, to win it for them. Like, him and Slate had, like, done it. Um, and so for Comstock to say that he did it and then Slate to be upset about it, it would be interesting if Comstock really did do it because Comstock is actually Booker. But this is, like, crackpot theorem. Um, and the thing is... Mm, it would explain why Comstock knows so much about Booker and like knows so much about his past without Booker having any idea who Comstock is. Like he's he had, he's had no idea who Comstock was. He had no idea what Columbia was before all of this. And then like all of a sudden, you know, like all that stuff exists and Comstock knows about uh, Booker and like knows that he's coming and knows all this stuff about him. Knows he has like an AD on his hand and stuff like that and like knows that he's gonna try to take elizabeth maybe it's because all that like played out for him at one point or he saw all that through um elizabeth and so he was like all right well i'll help you go back in time and make it different or something like that i don't know it's, i've been running it through my head quite a quite a bit um and it and and it makes sense after thinking about it a lot of times which is why it's been sticking in my head so much Cause there's other stuff like there's like um my theory about um lady comstock lady a comstock being uh annabelle that booker knows that died because it seems like both their uh both the women in their lives uh died but according to booker uh anna had not had a child before she died but here apparently the the child was only in her stomach for one week but i think that was a that was a lie i think they've talked about it being a lie at this point but i'm not sure if it uh if it is or isn't but anyways in this apparently the the lamb was born or i guess uh a child was born in this situation for comstock and lady comstock but i don't know yeah it's uh it's interesting can't forget that I'm literally like in the middle of a recording. I'm just baffling, or not baffling, but I'm just babbling on. Um, give me a second. Let me check my recording. All right. Well, we're about halfway through the episode, pretty much. Um, I need to stop talking about theories. Uh, I'm getting Chen Lin out of here right now. Okay. Can you open this? That won't take but a minute. This is it, isn't it? Yes. Yep. Number nine. All done. Whoa. Do it? You're a liar. Of course but this you is can't a setup. Me for looking after my oh. own interests, can you? No, no I gentlemen. Know Fitzroy has come calling, but I think you'll find your business with her has come to an end. <laughs> lions walk with lions, do it? Not hyenas. Hmm. Why does everybody have a goddamn purpose for me, dude? It's like everybody fucking like, uh. Hey, Chen Lin, buddy. At least you got a bigger cell than everybody else. More room for torture instruments. Yeah. Kinda like. Use more like the fire things to like light up the area. Okay, no. Well. Jeez. Jeez. Chen Lin, no. Chen Lin. We're too late. God damn it. Hank. This is what he meant. 
Now we need to find someone else to make those guns. <sighs> no. Why don't we just let dead. Fink kill fucking the Vox? He's dead. Oh. The hell did I see heads. And I see tails. It's all a matter of perspective. Why are you following us? Who sent you? Comstock? What do you want? What do you see here from this angle? Dead. Listen. And that angle? Alive. Walker. Chen Lin. The body's gone. It was never here. It's another Columbia. A different Columbia. Yeah. The same coin. A different perspective. Heads. Tails. Dead. Alive. We have to go through to this other Columbia, but how? It's like riding a bicycle. You never really forget. One just needs the courage to climb aboard. If we go into this tear, I don't think I'll be able to bring us back. Are you sure you're ready? Should we go in? <clears throat> Is there any voxophones here that I can get before we go to... <clears throat> Old timey time. I wonder what's going to happen. This is actually kind of freaking nuts. Um, all right, Elizabeth. Let's really hope that nothing bad happens. This is okay. this is insane. Come here, come here. Oh my! No blood and no body. Whoa! It's another world, Booker. Columbia. Something tells me one dead gunsmith ain't the only thing that's changed. Oh, this is not going to be good. What are we going to be wa- Oh. These are the new weapons. Yeah, this is why, yeah, I was like, I saw like the, the image of the repeater. I was like, wait, that's just a normal machine gun, but I suppose not. Um, <clears throat> I was going to say... What if this, uh, what if this isn't the only other Columbia? I mean, it would make sense if there were two because there is the whole perspective with the coins of which side of the coin, but. Oh, Elizabeth, you should have taken a gun. Oh my, is that the fox? Who's that? That doesn't look like a Vox person back there. Oh, this is gonna get bad. Well, Diego's still dead in this one, so. Man, all the Vox are in prison. Slate's still in jail. This is weird. All this other stuff's been looted. So in this universe, he was set free because Mrs. Lin um, has like connections, probably with Comstock I don't or something. Understand how Chen Lin is alive now? We're in a world where he was never murdered. Somewhere we'll find out why, I suppose. Oh I don't shit! You change something like that, and have everything else remain the same. Oh shit! A world where somebody who died is alive. Uh oh. I don't like where this is going. Oh, the bird is dead in this universe. The bird in the cage is dead in this universe, but it's alive in the other one. Uh-oh. I don't like this. Something really bad is going to happen. Did you find something back there? A coin, perhaps? Would you like to share? No? Okay. Elizabeth, you want to take bets on what's different? Hmm. 
Morgan Creed, Michael Cassius, Albernathy Cook, Fox Suspects. Underground hideout located in Finkton, maybe? I don't know. We want. <laughs> Gosh. They're the Vox Merciless. Location unknown. I think this is bad, Elizabeth. This is bad. I don't like this. These men. I killed them. They were dead. Oh, they're phasing. They're not in this world. Their noses. Their, their noses are bleeding. Oh bleeding. no. Is it because they're not in the right place? I'm disgusted. Disgusting. Sick. 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 He's not saying that though, but he's saying it. I, 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 I hate one of me. Who do I hate? You can't, can't tell which one. Is he talking? Who is the I? Which one hates which? They're having turmoil between their two cells. Oh, what do we do God. Now? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You guys were fucked up. What was wrong with them? They remembered. Remembered what? Being dead. Oh, God. Because I killed them in other Columbia. Oh, God. Oh, Elizabeth, I don't like this. What is going on here, Sansmark? Has my head of security? I suspect you'll want to find out how these two slipped past your men and what they were doing in the basement. Uh. Oh, and in this universe, you can't jump over this. Holy shit. That's a crazy difference. You're like, how did you have a hand cannon? That doesn't exist here. Okay, whatever, I'll use this. Oh, this is like a, it's slow, it's a whole, okay, I'm kind of liking this. Okay. Oh my god. My gun is so hot. Why? Why is my gun so hot? Why am I like, I'm on fire? Take this. You're bleeding. Hold on. So these, okay, so we can't like, we can't like call those those uh, things in, because there was a thing in of medkits here that I could call in, but it's just not here. In the other world, this whole business makes my head hurt. All right, I want to check out that uh, shop down there because I need ammo. Yeah, this is weird. I did not expect this to happen. This can't be the only Columbia, right? Because, like, all the stuff that I teleported from the other Columbia initially, like, isn't here. None of that stuff is here, so... And I can't teleport it in, so I don't know. Uh, this is it, right? I wonder if the upgrade machine is going to have different upgrade stuff. Uh, nope, this looks like all the same stuff. Dangerous times, dangerous measures. Protect your women and your treasures. I wonder if it isn't dead here. Oh, this is weird. Is that the same image that was there before? I don't know. 
how different is this gonna be? I don't trust your sword armor, do you? Well, it looks the same for the most part. Not happy with your pay? Well, not oh, good cheer. Stop up! The history tells us that the face of the takes no money for his art. I don't try it. It would only accept the presidency. Fuck Kenneth! What did she say? I can't skyhook. Is this a universe where you can't skyhook onto anything? Oh my god. I need health. You know, I wasn't born deaf. <laughs> I hear what it is people are saying. And, uh, but why is it, Mr. Fink, that we have to work 16 hours a day? <laughs> Let's be clear. I would like nothing more than to shorten your work day. But the fact is, I simply can't. Why not, you ask? Well, Use a crank gun. I don't know. Nothing new in there. Would you rather be in the Sorry, hand cannon. Booker? Look. Looks like Fink isn't giving you the job. Alright. What do you mean Fink isn't giving me the job? Ah! Oh. over though. There's much like gears and stuff coming out of it. Okay. Sandsmark. Retirement Gala. I think um, I do want to check the other like these other areas uh, all that seems like it's been looted all right yeah let me go in here see if anything's really different do you hear anything huh no machines no tools let's go find that gunsmith Maybe he's upstairs now. I wonder. Let me keep my minigun out. Oh. Look, look. The shrine. It's a figure of Comstock now. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, right, because he's dead in the other... There's not much we can do about it now. What are you winding, bud? Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Excuse me, Chen Lin? Who are you? He got his speak ears. Up. Speak up! Is he bleeding Can't from the hear nose, you too? Over all these machines. Very loud. I'm Booker DeWitt. Stand back! These machines very dangerous. Wait downstairs with Mrs. Lin. Uh, Daisy Fitzroy sent us. We need to talk to you about getting some weapons. Machines! Very dangerous! No place for stupid people! Want to lose pretty head? Mr. Lin... Downstairs! What is wrong with him? Remember him dead in that cell? Maybe in... in some way he remembers that too. How would you reconcile that? Oh. I don't know. Calm his troubled thoughts. Um... Ease his burden. That it's not the same Ms. Lin. Bring Chen Lin back to me. What? Oh, because he's acting weird, I was gonna say. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for Mrs. Lin. As Mrs. Lin? No, I, I mean woman. a little Chinese lady. She was... Booker, this is Mrs. Lin. <laughs> they took Chen's tools. What's he got without his tools? Well, your husband is a bit out of sorts. If he could work again... He remembers dying. Maybe uh, if, if he could work, he'd... Mrs. Lin, can you tell me who took your husband's tools? Goddamn police. They took them and locked them up in the impound in Shantytown. Hmm. So, oh, so in this universe, that the Shantytown might not be blocked off. Would having his tools back fix his mind? Who cares? Maybe. We're not getting any guns if Chen Lin doesn't have his tools. Let's head to Shantytown. I'm gonna check out down here. Maybe in this universe, there's actually a voxophone down here. Nope. I still don't have a shadow, not even in this universe. That's sad. Alright. Shantytown time. Let me see how long I've been recording. Did you notice? Lynn had a bloody nose. I did. Seems to be in style. This Tara. I'm not so sure it was a good idea. Me either. I don't want to know what's the, like, thing that made all this like this one different maybe this is the Columbia where I don't show up that makes sense because I think giving sense what's going on Jesus Not get that guy. The one tear isn't here now. You know, I thought there was like a vending machine somewhere, but maybe I'm wrong. Okay, yeah, so it's not blocked up here. Okay. This is exactly what I'm looking for. Um. Can you hold on to this? Oh, thank you. 
Nothing new in there. It would have been cool if there was like a bunch of different stuff in this. Um, um, I don't think I need any other ammo. Well, now we can't get in. Should we? Oh, I wonder if. Okay, never mind. I was going to say, it would have been cool if like we got here and then we had to like go through a tear back to the other Columbia so that this side was open. That would have been pretty cool. Um, Alright. Let's get this open. If you want to ask me, ask me. About what? My finger. Uh, uh, sorry, I didn't... It's alright. It's as much a mystery to me as anyone else. Maybe Songbird knows, but he's not talking. Wh I'm sorry. What for? I get to wear this stylish thimble to cover up my hideous deformity. I hear they're all the rage in Paris. What? Thimbles? People putting thimbles on finger stubs? Is that like a thing? There's a. Uh, I got I got like progress for an achievement for um, combination shock after I hit somebody with two uh, little things. So I'm gonna try to um, mix some of these. Maybe I can like. Shock them and then you know, this or something. Need this? Got it. Come on. Maybe I'm wrong about the combination thing. Maybe it's something else. So I think I hit him with two of them. Aiming down the sights makes it even harder to hit him in the head. Okay, but hit him now. I guess good recover. Now. On it. Oh gosh. I could get up there, and that would be a door to- whoa, that's crazy. He had a little bit of Vox repeater ammo on him. It's weird. Why did he have Vox repeater ammo on him? Okay. I don't think there's anything else up there. Uh... That one! Now! Okay. Now let's see what it is. Oh, there's a sniper here. That's what it is. Um, let me get to here. Oh, there's the RPG again. Maybe I should pick up the RPG. Um, should I drop my... I don't really want to drop my box up here because I don't know if I'm going to even get it again. I can't imagine they wouldn't ever bring it back because all the other weapons they've brought back multiple times, but 
or worry because I don't even know how long I'm gonna be here. I should probably head back to that uh, ammo machine now that I think about it. That's like my big opportunity to get some. Thank you. Yeah, just keeping like 250 coins in your pocket inside one coin. Okay. Okay, Elizabeth. I don't think there's oh some sort of ram thing. I wonder if I can open this. So, no. Maybe I have to unlock something to open that. Departing. I don't like the looks of this. I don't like the looks of this at all. You know what, I think this is a great place to leave it off at. This is a great place. Um, I don't know what to think about this other Columbia, but I'm thinking like, how much stuff is different? Cause so far not too much stuff seems different, but like all the Vox are in prison and from the way it sounds like Fitzroy is dead or something, or is just like not, like, I would assume Fitzroy is dead because there's all there's still, like, Fitzroy propaganda for the Vox. So she was still, like, a Vox person, but I didn't see her in the cell whatsoever. So maybe she's already dead in this timeline. But I was thinking all, along the lines of, like, people that are dead being alive. And there's a lot of possibilities of uh, stuff that could be different. Um, I'm worried if there's, like, oh, God. If Comstock can, like has like uh, the ability to like see stuff in the future in the past and like other realities like other Columbia's um, does he know about us or would he not I would assume he would stop turning around you just keep turning around and then turning around again and then you're like all right I want to turn around again all right anyways I think I'm going to include like a, a small snippet of like some of my theory stuff after I conclude the episode. Um, but besides that, I think this is going to be it for episode eight. Uh, very intriguing. Like what the hell is going on? Um, I wonder if there's an alternate universe like or an alternate Columbia uh, Elizabeth. And she's going to have like the different symbol on her like neck thing or something like that. That would actually be really cool. I didn't even think about that. That might be why they made her wear it. Oh, you... Okay. I thought you were going to walk in there because you're getting tired of me standing here just fucking talking to nobody. Like I'm crazy. She's like, oh my god, what the fuck is wrong with Booker? He's lost it. Alright. Anyways, that's it. I'll see you guys next time for episode 9. All right, now it's time for the post video theory segment. So this shakes down to two separate large theories that I have because most of my other theories have been dispelled by the game so far. But um, the first theory, and this is the weaker theory, but it's it's like I have I have this side theory that like all of this is like a test for Booker to see if he'll make the right choices and like. The stuff that, that's like really pushing me towards this is um, the quote in the beginning of the game where it says the subject will struggle to create memories where none exist. And that quote was by Lutess, um, which is really interesting because we haven't seen anything of Lutess. The only contact we've, ha we've had with Lutess in this game is her sending us that uh, telegraph about not taking the 77 ball, which when we took the 77 ball, we ended up being caught. Which makes me feel like she knew that that was going to happen and, you know, she, like, knows other stuff that's going to happen. Um, but um, another part of it is these two people that keep showing up. Um, 
they did the heads and tails experiment with us. Um, they had us choose between the bird and the bird cage. And um, they even showed up, you know, recently um, when Elizabeth had, had opened that tear to the, uh, the other Columbia. Um, they had shown up and they were talking about, oh, each side of the coin, you know, like from one side you see one perspective, from the other you see the other, but they're both the same coin, just different sides, um, which is really uh, interesting because there's also the separate realities, which is my next thing is that, you know, it's like, it's weird because it almost feels like Columbia isn't real. Like there's a lot of like reality shifting stuff going on. Um, and actually part of the theory is that like going to the lighthouse is how we, like obviously we ended up in Columbia because we went to the lighthouse, but like either the lighthouse is like where the experiment's taking place or the experiment was already going on and like there wasn't even any lighthouse. Um, but I also wanted to say that with the symbolism about the bird in the cage, it really makes me feel like Booker is the bird in the cage and he's supposed to escape and he's supposed to, you know, like break out of the cage and free himself. Um, but the problem with this is that there is a lot of storyline about Columbia going on that seems like it's, you know, important to the overall story. So I don't think I can just dismiss Columbia as being like a fake reality experiment entirely. Um, also, I wish there were more clues hinting towards this, if this is the reality of it, um, because there are clues that are pointing towards the other theory that I have, which I'm definitely going to be talking a lot more about, but um, it's this theory. Um, it's my Dewitt Comstock theory. I shortened it to Come Drop because I mixed their two last names, Do Drop and Comstock. But um, basically, this theory is that Comstock is Dewitt in the future from another universe, pretty much. Um, my main points for this is we've learned a lot of information about both Comstock and Booker's past over time, and a lot of stuff lines up. Like, they, they both, like... Uh, like understand that they used to be like really bad people like we heard that comstock audio diary where he's talking about like oh the archangel told me that if even i can see the light then everybody can which you know makes me feel like he was a pretty bad person before he you know became the prophet um they both had lady friends who died that had names starting with a um we don't know lady comstock's full name but we know it starts with a and it seems important that they that they'd have like they'd show that like her name starts with A, but they're not going to give us her name. Like, even in her Voxophone, we don't even get her first name, which is interesting. Um, and the only other female character that we know of in the game that has a name that starts with A is Anna, Booker's uh, lady friend. And also, coincidentally, the only other um, lady in the game whose name starts with A who is dead. Which is, it's an interesting lineup of uh, coincidences. Um, I also wanted to say that... Um, Comstock had um, taken the glory for Wounded Knee in Boxer Rebellion, um, even though Slate stated that him and um, Booker had uh, had been the ones to do it. And it would make sense if Comstock knew all this stuff about Wounded Knee in the Boxer Rebellion and held in regards that he did all that because possibly he did do all that as Booker do it in the past. Um, and the last thing, and this is this is like real shaky until I get on to my next point about this, but um. They were possibly born in the same year. We don't know the exact year that Booker was born. Um, on his uh, passport, it says 1870 something. I'm assuming it's four, um, but again, you know, it could be anywhere in the 1870s. But we do know for a fact that Comstock's birthday is 1874, which is weird because if it's 1874 and this game is in 1912, he would be 48. But Comstock looks real old, like. Maybe not like 80s old, but like he's definitely not 48 looking. Like you don't get like a super long white beard and like bald with like white hair on the sides at 48. Like that doesn't happen. That just doesn't happen. Um, and I was gonna say Comstock like knows everything about do it. Like even like knew about like the mark on his hand enough to like make propaganda about uh, calling him the false shepherd when he shows up because of the mark on his hand, which is like interesting but i mean people could just know about the mark on my hand from stuff um but he even knows like when we're coming to columbia and all this stuff and like so much stuff about us and like the way he talks to us is as if he knows like about our life and stuff like that even though we have no idea who he is we never saw him at um wounded knee or boxer rebellion like even booker states that when we're going through the hall of heroes he's like he wasn't part of the seventh cavalry like 
like bullshit he led the seventh cavalry like which you know how would he know about all that stuff unless like he used a tear to like look into the past and learn about it but like even then why would he like take the glory for it? like it's such a weird thing to take the the glory for when it really doesn't have that much to do with columbia it's interesting um and basically i, I kind of like mapped out how like this whole timeline plays out so like this is the universe that comstock is from this is comstock do it he's born in 1874 boxer rebellion happens um wounded knee happens all that stuff happens do it makes a deal or Comstock DeWitt makes a deal, come drop, um, and he ends up going through with it and actually delivers the girl to New York, and then later on in his life, he's visited by the Archangel, who instructs him how he can, you know, like, right his wrongs and, like, change the world and stuff like that. So he uses this tear to go to another universe, but also back in time at the same time. He doesn't just go to another universe at the same time, because he needs to rewrite at least another universe's history to make things go well at least in my theory. <clears throat> so this history that he goes to, DeWitt has already been born here, and he decides to put together Columbia and launch Columbia, and then his daughter Elizabeth is born, and then this is supposed to be 1895, I don't know why I put 1893 again. Um, 1895, Lady Comstock dies in this universe, um, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, then the Boxer Rebellion happens as normal, but then DeWitt, you know, obviously, instead of, um, like, he loses the deal in this universe, and he is told that he has to deliver the girl to New York, but in this universe, DeWitt goes to Columbia instead of the original universe where he gets visited by the Archangel after he goes through with it. So that's how, like, that theory is, like, kind of shaken out in my head. Um, I don't have too much other stuff to add on to this, um... Besides the fact that it would be incredibly ironic for a lot of the lines used in the game for us to be Comstock, because it, yeah, um, there's like a few offhanded remarks that characters will say that's like, if you look at it from like the other perspective, the other side of the coin, things look a lot different. So yeah, and this, this theory, in my opinion, has a lot more credibility as to how the game's been going so far than um, the cage experiment theory um just because like there's so much stuff that's lining up and that's why this is sticking in my head is because it was like an offhanded um thought at one point when i was learning stuff about comstock and booker i was like oh they have like some weird similarities that are like lining up that aren't really lining up with other characters i was like oh whatever you know like it can't be possible because you know we see each other in person but the thing is with the tears and how the game is explaining how these tears work and what these tears go to it makes it very possible and it, and even with um elizabeth saying that like they're like a form of like wish fulfillment or something like that like um it it leads me to believe that this universe that we are in is a universe that was created by either um the archangel or comstock when he uh had been visited by the archangel so it's interesting it's interesting it, it's a it's a weird theory um but i've been thinking about it a lot like i've been thinking about it a lot recently um so it's just been going through my mind as i've been playing and i've been trying to keep my eye out for subtle theories but i'm trying to or sorry not th not subtle theories but th uh subtle clues but i'm trying to keep my eyes out for other possibilities around because i don't want to have just like one theory while going through this because it's always good to have multiple theories because then you're always keeping your mind open to stuff but it's also good to be able to like check stuff off that like you don't think is a possibility so there are a lot of benefits of a bunch of theorizing but yeah all right i'll see you guys next time what is it gonna be fucking episode nine next time it's crazy it's crazy i wonder how i wonder how quickly i'm gonna get through this game it's good though i'm really enjoying this game all right see you guys next time